doing welcome to the channel my name is King Yuri so in today's video first of all I'm I'll be sounding very husky I lost my voice a couple of days ago but hopefully my mic is doing a good job at picking up my voice I made a wig I've been laughing for the last couple of days I made a wig can you for the very first time I made a wig um, and I watched just I mean I've watched a couple of tutorials before now but when I was making this week I watched just one tutorial I can't even remember the name of the YouTube I watched I made this week myself to be very honest I don't think it's something I'm gonna try again I'm not going to try it again it took so much time I don't know if it was because it was my first time or if it usually takes this long I don't think it would take everybody this long between going back and forth the YouTube video and then trying to figure out if it will lay the um, webs and all of that it took me about six hours shout out to the wig makers you people are doing the damn job how do I sit for six hours making a wig how bottom line of the matter is that I made this wig myself and uh, it doesn't look bad right it, it looks really good there's really nothing like looking at it there's nothing wrong with it it doesn't look bad it doesn't look the shape on my head doesn't look funny there are no visible bumps that you guys can see but I would say that um, personally feeling it on my head it's a bit too snug I think I made a mistake with the way I stitched on the inside let me just show you guys okay let me just show you guys how I made the wig and we'll be right back okay so this hair is from Ali Sky hair I got three bundles of this hair 226 124 and a 20 inch free part closure and this is what the closure looked like the lace was very very light which is a bit of a problem if you don't know how to bleach you know closures are you gonna tell me where you went all the messages i sent with no reply so i went with a dome cap because that's what most or all of my weeks are made with and that's what i'm used to so i had two big needles threaded i doubled the thread and then knotted it and that's what i used so as you guys can see i use a dome cap but the problem I had was that the dome cap was too big for my dummy head and the mistake I made was I should have pinned this dome cap down so that it's flat against the dummy head but I didn't do that and it's because it's my first time so here I was watching the YouTube video a YouTube video rather and I just pinned down the closure and then pinned it down at the back so that it lays as flat as possible and if you see how this wig came out I really love how my closure came out it came out flat it's not bumpy it's not rising nothing it came out really well so I just um, sewed it round and then I would later move to the back of the head I was done with the closure I started with the longest bundle which was 26 inches bundle and what I did was or from the video I was watching the person started um, sewing using a single track and that was exactly what I did so the very first two lines I used single track and then from then on I started doubling it and I really understood the technique behind this you don't want the lowest parts to be extremely full you want the middle of your head to be fuller than the rest of the head so the first two lines I did single tracks and then as I went upwards I doubled it but as I was going towards the closure I went back to single tracks so the number one mistake I made with this wig was when you guys saw this dome cap it had like extra space the mistake I made was I was supposed to have left that extra space so that the cap can expand on my head and fit nicely but the mistake I made was I kept on sewing and I used thread to tighten the cap so the cap no longer fit my head like it was supposed to have been so I kind of took away the elasticity of the cap Cause you are the only one. 
so once i was done with the wig i thinned out the hair on the closure and then i put some foundation on the lace as well just because i did not bleach the lace so if you don't know how to bleach your lace this is the best option so that it matches your skin tone and this is what the hair looked like before i washed it Hair, because hair is very beautiful and I think so far with all the hair patterns and all the color patterns I've tried I would say that water wave is my favorite I've noticed that when I wash hair it's a lot of them tend to look way different from the way they came sometimes they look better other times you just need you to touch it up with either a curling wand or bendy rollers or whatever but this is the very first hair that I would say I have gotten and I have washed and I have loved the curl pattern after washing it. This is a natural state and it is lovely. Like this is just how I love it. I don't think water wave hair should be short because when it's short, I don't think you really get to see the beauty of water wave hair. I feel like water wave hair shouldn't be shorter than 24 inches. It should be 24, 26, 28 down to whatever because when is that long it just really flows down and then it lies really flat this hair was sent to me from Ali sky hair i was supposed to get from bonus but i made a mistake that was a mistake on my part but then if you look at the hair it looks this is this is pretty this is good i love the fullness i love the density of the hair as it is just washed it and i don't have any product on it at all so this is the hair without any product at all i'm just going to throw in some products and i'm going to show you guys so these are products i just got recently this one is the tcp natural living treatment and it has shea butter and coconut oil so this is what it looks like here so this is what it looks like um and i love this i've been using this for my hair but i don't like to use too much of it because it has coconut oil and i heard that coconut oil weighs your curls down so i'm not going to use too much of this so i'm just going to do this on one side of my hair just so that we can you know see what the difference is like so i'm going to bring out two sides here and then we're going to use some one so i'm just going to rub this on it i'm not going to use too much because like i said i don't want to weigh the hair down this thing smells so good so good you can see how nice this one just takes to the product and instantly you just see the huge difference so look at this and then look at this and i don't have a lot of products in this and i'm not going to use any water at all i don't really i don't like water in my hair so i'm not going to go in with this so this one just says argan oil heat defense living spray and it says that it has moroccan argan oil extract so this is what it looks like so, so when i wanted to comb this hair after washing it i just used a white tooth comb so i'm just going to use this one just going to run this down there. this is what this side of the hair looks like right now and this is what it looks like without any product at all i'm going to go in with this again with the tcb naturals um, living treatment because you are the only one So this is what the hair looks like with the products in it and I've combed it out. This is my this is my favorite favorite curl pattern ever. Let me show you what the length of this hair is. I hate how you assume I'll take the pleasure and the pain. The sorrows in your brain. shedding for this hair it has shed quite a bit because when i was making the wig i cut some wefts i cut the weft and i've heard that when you cut the weft of hair it can actually cause the hair to shed 
so i don't know if that's part of the reason why i have gotten quite an amount of shade from the hair which i showed you guys earlier on another thing is that i also thinned out the closure a little bit so it's not as full as it was so that could be you know i could have like leftover hair you know in between um but other than that it's not crazy i don't think there's any hair that doesn't shed leave me messages on instagram if you want to find out how the hair has been doing over time i'll always reply your messages with hair like this you can pull it out of the bag and throw it on maybe just moisturize a little bit and just run your fingers through it then you are out of the house so when it comes to maintenance i don't think this is going to be difficult to maintain thank you so much for watching the links to the hair will be in the description below see you in my next video bye